All right, that last episode. Uh, hello, by the way, this is FX. Uh, left that last episode on kind of a cliffhanger. So, welcome back, and I hope you enjoy this next part. This was this is released probably Wednesday, so you had to wait two days. Apologies. Anyway, enjoy. Oh, look at this place. Amy, Amy, are you here? Tails, where are you? I'm gonna go for Tails. Signal, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone ahead. She seems really excited. You need something from me? Yeah, there's a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Ha <laughs> ha laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easy. He's on a train full of his friends. I don't know what actually happened to him. It's all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap a lot in strange spots. He's fine. It's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. It's really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? Are they actually fucking dying, or... I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. I'm talking to everyone. I have to keep an eye on you. <laughs> I mean, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ah, uh, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. You ever catch me looking glumped, though? So now it's because, uh, where's my love card? This guy working case with me just our practice joined Dark New Library. Our property is there without baggage. This is it true? Eve Armits! We are doing my slew! It's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, you're trying to figure out Murder Sonic. I can see that. <laughs> Amy moseyed through and told me about it. <sighs> Enough of that. I like how that voice up for Amy. I wonder if you could tell us what we were up to before the murder. Anything to establish your alibi and Nope, I'm nothing to tell either you. Leave me alone. I said I just said why don't why don't take it out on us? He broke the goddamn arcade machine. He got mad at the arcade machine. <laughs> Super monkey ball! I think it broke with the traits right out of the dance comes from punches? Who have done that? You should look at me for. I sure can is out of your inventory. There's always in the trash. Let's check there. Some of this empty one as well. Your theory on something always been hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. So as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I think Tails ignored me. He got drunk and he played the game. What is this? Oh, Boris sort of nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. It's just like someone licked all the salt off him. What? <laughs> Dickhead. Oh, this is interesting. What is this? Just a few use caps. Why are there three? Nichols was really thirsty. This one has lipstick on. Lipstick on the rim. It's not Knuckles color. Oh, someone has been here. Should log this. Oh. Let's talk to the hand first. The robotic arm here is really helpful. What's what I'm doing to my hair? You fix it up a bit. That's incredible. Interesting tech. Oh, this will go over my job a little bit. How well can it handle? How well can it ha can it microwave? I told you, leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> I made Knuckles flush. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. I don't look like he's used to being complimented. Just adjust your hat bit so we can see better. I said, leave! I take your order. Not hungry. Like, here, right, let me know. Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Sigur, you're not a butler. Tell me that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. Alright. Uh, start interrogation. Knuckles! Oh, uh, that's music. Whatever. Anyway, Knuckles, sir, you need to determine what you were doing during the hour the music took place. Can we just have some silence from the music, damn it? I want to, like, spam goddamn Ace Attorney music. I said Ace Ventura. I don't know why Ace, Ace Ventura is in my mind so much. It's not even, like, related to Ace Attorney at all. I don't think, anyway. Anyway. Knuckles, Signal and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Dot. Yeah, he busted the machine in anger. Evidence, too. Do? Let's take a look at our inventory. Let's try to know that Tony Sonic was murdered. Okay, machine. Ha. Huh. Makes you think I touched it. Think! Use your fucking brain! Ah! 
God damn! I wasn't expecting that. Also, I'm fucking up a lot. Jesus Christ. I died. You see, we. You have no argument here. You're weak. Ouch. I'll just follow the train that I get. So we. Alright, I just won't fuck up this time. I didn't expect the balls. I was really, like, surprised. Usually, I expect balls when they're coming at me. Fuck. That was dumb. Fuck, that was dumb again. Oh my god, I died in the same spot. <laughs> god damn it. Why am I being so shit? This is like literally easy. Fuck's sake. God damn it, jump! I can't move and jump at the same time. I didn't realize that. Okay, you can't. You can't. What the fuck? Why wasn't it working? Maybe I pressed it too late. Fuck's sake, I shouldn't have... Okay. It's fine, I got mostly through. Good enough. I made it. Bro looks at a, a game gear to fucking think. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Your hair was on the scene! Sickle Monkey Ball is your favorite game. Obviously not. <clears throat> I didn't see how the punches... The damage is punches. You know, staring my hands for. Okay, because you're clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? You know, punching bad, nowhere available to me. It's not an urge to punch, huh? I think repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. <laughs> How will you. I'm on it. Signal distraction over the way fails. Fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! God damn it! Barely got enough rings that time. <clears throat> okay, machine is fixed. Oh, don't look at the scores! Look at the scores! <laughs> Pulling it up now. <laughs> you lost to the... <laughs> by one point. Nothing, obviously. It's all just something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be the library car. <laughs> Picture is beginning to be painted here. You could beat it with Vector to see if you get the highest score. Vector beat you. In frustration, you destroy the arcade cabinet. <laughs> it's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Which is a common name. Proof is here now. The drinks. I don't know, the drinks? Again, I'm getting better at that. <sighs> I'll say no more. Perhaps Vector was here with Knuckles. No, that was strange. There was more than one cup sitting next to you. You were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. I'm. It's. It's not like. It's not. I wasn't. I, I don't tell Amy. You're on the right track here. So as you say, Victor popped in at the top of the hour, wanting to to play the arcade machine. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the high score. To me, I destroyed the machine. No proof is winning. I'm trying to fix the arcade kind of before you came in and honest. I want to be caught. My story, alibi. I right, told you. I told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What of the cup with the lipstick mark? There's a, Ru Rouge was in here too. Well, obviously, Rogue. It's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. You searched around for something but failed. Made fun of her game and left. I'm not just that one. You offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up and I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. I'm not satisfied. You two relent. Hmm. I don't understand this scenario. Your visitor play games. We're going to find something left. And the knuckles destroyed the machine. It all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering some of your requests. Actually, it's not everything. It's his knuckles. Dot. 
Let's check on something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Let me one more time. Oh, ultimate. Shadow. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Here is by the by ultimate. I don't know signal, but someone here that goes by the title, the ultimate life form. Yeah, that's Shadow. Someone really here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? <laughs> Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? <sighs> you know, I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. Shadow is here too. Toss the game in this first to get his name on the scoreboard, but you already fought to beat Shadow score. All right, annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? I mean, this before he left. Key. I mean, to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. Victor was leaving and I locked the door behind him, so I don't know what else after locking the door. It's the honest truth. When Amy came through here, not long ago, he opened the door for her. No, I think she has some sort of key, too. She has the special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. I'm in the library that caused Vector to come here. My channel locking doors. It's rich searching for. Her. No, no, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. Ah, uh, well, Shadow's the locksmith, so I guess that makes sense. You're gonna have to find them and ask for yourselves. <coughs> We're officially than expected to get here, but soon we can move on. Right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. You only know for sure when we confirm things with Victor. Victor. I don't know if the library is in the next car, I'll lock open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic earful for me, defective tales and butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. We'll do Sheriff. Is that on purpose? Come on, Signal, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. Signal! Coming! Are we gonna fuck tails later? Anyway. There's another one over there. Mosey well, down to the next car. No way, dig nabbit. Let's see if I should go away a little longer. You got it, partner. Anyway. Oh, there's a chow. He's seen some shit. All this stuff's getting handy. I don't, at that point, I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. You're hitting out. You've been fabulously helpful. Alright, before you go, SBR will give you our presents. Your presents? Both too sweet, thank you. Seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. <clears throat> have you found any leads yet? Want to join us in finding clues? Have you needs help from birthday girl? And she knows everyone is allowed to be sassy on their birthday. It's just too juicy to ignore. See you around. Worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. <laughs> oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Birthday girl has the master key. Alright, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. I'll solve this case for anyone else. Bye. You may be hasty, but she's thorough. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Maybe kill us in the right language to use right now. Oh. And I'm gay. The gay. Ah! Poetry! Resentment message for the poet of the reader. My can I hear some? Sure. Uh, Tear chops in the spring. Can you s hear me sing? La la la. D d d d. Is that it? And more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm a satisfied for now. Thanks. It's just gonna be fucking spring over and over. This is rhyming, I suppose. And I are here to establish both of your eye lights. You walk us through what happened after Amy had left the dying car. Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, Sonic, all passes through this library car. Okay, well, that now Blaze is likely the murderer. Shadow probably went back. Blaze doesn't have an alibi right now. Oh, 
I probably picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Hector got bored, so he let to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. <laughs> Where was Roach? It's her saloon car. She heard the library car, so looking for something. And she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. Heard her shout, No way at the brochure stand over there. She left back of the skin saloon car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Okay, so Rouge is unlikely to be the murderer. Blaze came through here looking for something. I already know what Shadow did. I wonder what she found. Shadow did be hunt for something. Probably like a like treasure map or something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. And entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why is Shadow been locking doors? I walked through the library car to the slow car. Where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us this. Us up at Super Monkey Ball. That's so good. I really sorry. I got really 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 when Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door on the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the only one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's, that's all that happened. Couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Corporation, it just be around during any question. <laughs> you like to be serrated with the poor oh my god, you covered too. Thanks, guys. Not my scene saw enough, we should sort of search for clues. Don't forget anyone anyway, else to prove what they're saying is true. Easy for the just po post and turn it into the other like reading. Tall, tall task, but we can do it. Let's go to the bottom of this tales. Absolutely. Books on the ground, I'm trying to pick them all up. So no interest in picking up all these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the training speeding up. Roach pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What is this behavior? It's just sorry for the poor books. Spines are increasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels <laughs> empathy for everything. <laughs> uh jeez. Ooh, brochures. Their travel destination ideas, like these parks to Oh, Ooh, this is a couple maps here. This is a map of the library card. The books are categorized by genre. Let's sure, do here. Oh, good overhead map. Let's take it. Another map is added to your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Let's just stalagmites. Nah, I'll leave it. Oh uh, yeah, that's fair. Make sure it's my fondness for caves. Ah. Uh, He's always in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, there's nothing here. I really thought there'd be something here. Are you sad there's nothing in the trash bin? No, oh, no, I'm alright. This is like fucking West of Loathing vibes here. Or is there something in the next trash bin we find? You really think so? Uh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay, these trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. So, no, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Does this be a compliment? Gay. Chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Oh, I nearly need to see this. Little Chow is hanging there. If he uses his wings fly the safety, because choosing our way is often the, the most rewarding. Beautiful. Chow can stick to his principles to find strength that I can too. No way there is that much thought put into this poster. <laughs> right? <laughs> mm. Chaos Cola! Or Chow's Cola. Don't know, there's two characters with C-H-A-O as their names. Ah, uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so let's plus. But you're in the mood to read. Yeah, it puts me in the mood too. Let me go rest my eyes a bit. Signal no, don't fall asleep. It's been a murder, remember? I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. Probably, like, never, what the fuck. One more thing, that arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, who won? I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and do what it's saying. Yeah, probably for the best. Book. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This is the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. Recipes. 
cares? I wouldn't trust any books he's written. It's weird this is even here. And people just appreciate an omelet. May not be wrong. Bro, I bet Dr. Sorry. I bet Dr. Eggman could cook a mean omelet. Anyway, club of our marvelous planet. I've traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. A lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can be, can't be can be beat either. Sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia. You ever been there? I'm actually, if you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. Another thing about the area makes one scrumptious sandwich. Keep that in mind, thanks. Everyone's gonna be everywhere, haven't they? Isn't this. Is this based on. Uh, Sonic Unleashed and its world? I think it is. I think this globe is based on Sonic Unleashed, and I think that a lot of this is based on the Sonic Unleashed. Good. It's a good game. Anyway. Fancy a poem. How about a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh, wait, there's my lotion. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I actually really like that one. Huh? I'm about this. My starved stomach pow babbled, though I ignored the grumbly tummy. For the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my eggs, Sunny. Oh, well, we don't serve any eggs in a train, though. My talent is wasted on you lot. <laughs> about space. I made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace, so my antique must. So my antique I must now replace. Cause you to drop the vase. Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. As a thought this through, has he? Uh bum 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 bum. Never mind. What else do I have to look at? My berry map. Okay. Chair, bookshelf here. Can we look over here? Wow, I wish I could stop looking at all these books, but Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, old people wouldn't hurt. See how you threw all the books in the title? They're like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in training library. That's odd. And some books have fallen out of the floor and everything's but Every book on these shelves is out by order, but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. Some years ago, the Mirage Express train we're currently on. I think someone found it on the ground and put it back. He was interesting. Let's make a note of this. I just press my nails out your inventory. Okay, um <clears throat> There's Professor. Right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game has a lot of elements taken from Sonic Unleashed. I'm glad there's no boom references. Uh, what the fuck am I looking for at this point? <sighs> I'm gonna read this. Tried to bring a knife on the train. <laughs> you had a knife on you. We definitely think you were the murderer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. <laughs> Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. <laughs> Come on, Sigma, why are you teasing him like that? <laughs> Look, so you made a fool of him. Come on, Sigma, we'll smooth this over. No, oh, I'm the fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I spent things over, but at what cost? This game is fucking great. Alright, talk. Maybe a push. Oh, well, I already talked about this. 
What the fuck do I look for? Shadow supposedly walked to the library car before the saloon car. Oh, so that's a library car and he locked this, this door on this way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Bruh, that's really our evidence is that he's locking shit? Alright. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? Anyway, it's not that we don't trust every year, but we wouldn't be able to proper detect without examining the ability of your alibis. So I'm going to confirm two things. Why Victor left to go play against Knuckles, and if SEO really was reading in the library card. Victor, we'll start with you. Why do you leave the library card of Azel Knuckles? Here's what I was just saying. Need. I got bored. It's not entertaining him enough, it seems. Victor enjoys being social. <laughs> it's in a line of friendship regarding with Knuckles. That brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge, Rogue entered the library car, found something, then left. So you immediately started reading, but we're actually really tired of the library car. has <laughs> been a good read. What is the book? <laughs> What kind of things do you think I read? I don't talk, I have a hunch on what the book might be. So, do you have any out? It's the Express. Alright, here we go. Finally, something besides investigating. Fuck the hell? Oh! I killed myself. I fucking fucking pressed the wrong button. All right, 51, that's pretty all right. Obviously, you can get higher, but, you know. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in order. I'll set this manual. It means someone at the previous list picks the manual up and put it back on the correct place. The lack of attention to detail normally isn't like you, SPL. Calm down, Vector. I didn't mean well, but I can hear myself. <laughs> Turn a poet friendship conformer. It's indeed the book I was reading. Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Signal if you don't mind. You can ask us to some questions about the manual. Just to flip the page and ask away. Let's see. Quiz us be about the manual proof you read it. Be sure I quiz it all. Page 362. Okay, uh, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train in spotless? Robotic arms during the events they caused before. They can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up the trash and messes afterwards. Remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. I have a feeling the train company didn't want to hire any generators. Robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring faster safety. Seems like SVO asked that question, so we'll live with another one. Okay, which page do I choose? 231. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no show fee. Just does not apply if you're over the age of 65. The person who made this rule must have been over 65. That's one signal. Let's see if you can go for three round, three for three. Uh, 402. What was the implemented? What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general general train obligations? An intelligence database process. Intelligent data processes says it works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. All right, this train is an autopilot. We can access the full suite of capabilities of the conductor. Program. Now, did I pass your little test? No. <laughs> I hate to say it, but no. Ah, uh, just go if you passed. Play your test of the ease. All my efforts were only to please. You joked and japed. I said no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. Just rhyme a curse, I mean. Clearly read the manual. All, 
Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. I admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred, this is just this is suspicious, even if it's true. You answer all my questions, Connie, so that's very impressive. No, I understood everyone's caught attitudes. It's the only one who seemed to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. You definitely read right through the manual, so what if we can. SBI, is that true? If it was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct, probably. Really, I don't believe that to be true. We have to have to back it up. Signal. You are on the spot because I'm gonna give it a phone or a what? Rub signal, let's get our AMA deader. It is running time. Sonic Underground. They made a vow their mother would be killed. Sonic is dead. She did not save him. <laughs> Bro, what she's saying about her kids possibly dying, she did not account for the fact that they die anyway. Also, I fucked up there, but ignore that. I don't think a signal signals Dream Gear should have a fucking space bar and four tag key, <laughs> four directional keys. I mean, now walk through the library card. This is a little card where you said it's not the original high score on the arcade machine. Crocs are natural gamers. So let's shadow the library card is mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. So Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car. SBO was fully seen reading the book for a good while. You know, Shadow had to walk back through the library card when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and SBO didn't notice one another in Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. It's just fully immersed in my book that didn't know Shadow. Tell me that the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't cause you to look up. Alright, uh, well, let's see. Since that was death race, you're defending the army that he was reading in time to raise it. So you didn't see Shadow return for the slow car to lock the doors. The moment, were you really in the library car at all? When SPO leaves, Shadow's on all the doors. No one saw SPO in the slow car. It's a mystery, my dear signal. Well, now I love for SPO to solve. You gotta believe me. Cold demeanor is vanishing. So involved in my book, I didn't notice at the library car. Honest. When Victor returned, he even had a tap on his shoulder to get me the attention. <laughs> Must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, how do you leave the library car? Was it? I didn't. Why doesn't it seem right to me? Tell different for this episode, I don't see it. I just seems to be somehow finished not to know Shadow's return to the library car. Should I do? Join Tails. <clears throat> I can't remember the Tails, but the only something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning it. Signal, my fair and beloved employee, please. Protect the passengers aboard this train. They must take care of. If you fail this, the lawsuits will be tortured. <laughs> Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. <sighs> oh, God. Yeah, you sure we're to check it here. I just peek up. Tails. You have a piece of evidence to answer all our problems. All right, my fellow associate. Lady, we are to of evidence shows Shadow and Espirus couldn't have seen one another. The library map? <clears throat> Bing. Bing. All right, here we go. Sonic speed. Jesus Christ. I just realized this is themed around the character. It's kind of cool. Alright, here we go. Here we oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. Straight path. Shadow walked down the straight path. There's a way SPO and Shadow can see one another. It's like you have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. 
Can they open for show not to see him? That's where I was sitting reading my book. Second this. I love this, sorry. <laughs> I confirmed it then. You see Sarah as we couldn't have seen one another from the spot. The bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return to Espio. There's no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there, fellas grasping. Despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you will leave me now. Alibi is the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it! Another pair of allies validated! Wow! Too many locked doors, don't worry about it. I'm glad everything's straight itself out. The end. Likewise, I could use a breather. So I think our work isn't done. We have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. I don't know if they kept it open when she passed through earlier. That's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBO. Keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose while our doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock, the ghost, the clock. While our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident our detective's abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Signal. Let's see what our, what's next. Coming. Say, so look at all the great books a little longer. Mr. Calls. Okay, the restoration continues. Head Detective Cho. That Chow is weird looking, though. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Alright, well, we're gonna leave this episode here. If you guys liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and enjoy the next episode with the booby booty booby bitch. Goodbye.